Impacts of opioid use in our state are becoming increasingly clear. Here in North Carolina, there have been more than 12,000 opioid overdoses since 1999. State leaders are now working to find ways to slow the crisis. They're discussing the issues and new ways to prevent them during a two-day summit in Raleigh. CBS North Carolina's Justin Quisenberry reports on new tools and techniques. This is the face of opioid use and survival. I almost lost everything because of substance use disorder. If I did not have access to adequate and appropriate treatment when I needed it most, which is now, if I didn't have robust recovery support services in my community, I would have been a statistic. Donald McDonald says he has not used alcohol or drugs in nearly 13 years. He's now the director of advocacy and education for the nonprofit Recovery Communities of North Carolina. McDonald spoke at the Opioid Misuse and Overdose Prevention Summit. My family trusts me and they're proud of me and I've become part of the solution. One of the responses to the opioid epidemic is to get emergency treatment like this in the hands of more people. 3,000 boxes of Narcan nasal spray will be distributed around the state and put it in the hands of not just law enforcement, but also friends, family, and caregivers of people with a history of opioid use. This is the new approach, the only way that we know that we can stop this crisis, which is a crisis, and 91 people die every day, is have naloxone everywhere in the community and have every Everybody have the ability to use it without specific training. The state is rolling out a plan to tackle opioid abuse. It includes making naloxone widely available with goals to also tackle the supply of prescription opioids, cut the flow of illegal drugs, and expand treatment and community awareness. In Raleigh, Justin Quisenberry, CBS North Carolina.